Now we're going to add a graphic to an existing article. We logged in. We're on our home page. And we'll use the article that's on the home page. You know how to get there to edit it. You do it the same way as going to edit any of the text. And you can put in a graphic right inside the text. Three great shows this summer. I want to put the famous tragedy comedy masks. And I'll put them over here. In other words, I want the text to go until it reaches the graphic and then wrap around um, uh, around the bottom of it. So let's do that. The way to do that is wherever you want the top of the graphic to be, it's usually a paragraph mark, like here or here. We'll put that graphic right at the top of this first paragraph. So I'm going to click in front of the O in our. And I'm going to go up and I'm going to click on Insert an Image. It's going to ask where the image is. Well, it's on my hard drive of my computer. It's not yet on the server. So we'll do a two-step process. We'll put the graphic up there, and then we'll tell .NET Nuke where the graphic is. So click on Browse Server, because it's going to ultimately get on the server. And it's going to open up a new window. It shows you all of the pictures that are up on the server, and we have a bunch of them. And what we want to do is we want to upload one. So up here is where we put up a new one. Now this picture is going to be generic for the show, the uh, summer place, but you typically want to put them in the 2009 season. Uh, unfortunately, a few people were kind of sloppy in putting things in and so they ended up in the main folder. You're better off making a folder um, for the season that you're in and putting it there. Talk about all those things later. Right now we just want to get a file. It's important that this graphic that goes up there is sized correctly. So before you copy a file up, you definitely want to resize it. If you don't have a graphics editing tool that will crop it or resize it so that it is a small number of pixels, then get one. Or you can go to a website called Picnic, P-I-C-N-I-K, and shrink a graphic. We'll do that in a little exercise later. But we have a graphic that's the right size. We click Browse. We go to the Summer Place folder, and we look for our Comedy Tragedy Mask. There it is. And say OK. And now the address is loaded in there, and we click Upload New File. It takes a second or two to upload the file, and then the screen will refresh. The screen is refreshed, and note, it's alphabetical, and I named it Comedy Tragedy. So there it is under the C's. And to get it to be on my page now, I'm ready to select it. All I have to do is click on it to select it. Notice that it is there, and it is not right aligned off to the right. It's at the beginning of the paragraph. I need it to be right aligned. That's what happens over here. The number of characters, uh, rather pixels, for the width of the picture, the number of pixels for the height of the picture, the border, there's no box around it. That's what the border is, and you can set that to zero to be sure that always is the case. The number of spaces, do we want spaces to be on either side? If there were words, they would crop right up to the edge here. There looks to be just a couple of pixels there. I'd like it to be a few more pixels than that, so I'm going to put four pixels of horizontal space. Notice the graphics scooted, o scooted over. Uh, there appears to be some uh, on the top and bottom, but they're just in case, I like to put a few on the top and bottom as well. So there's another four, and that scratches it out. Finally, to get this graphic so that it's on the far right side, 
So the text wraps to its left. We want to right align the graphic. So we use the drop down menu. Look down, there's several options. There's left for putting it on the left and having the text wrap around to its right, or right and have it wrapped around its left. We want it to be right aligned. Notice how the graphic now is over here and the sample text wraps around it. All is good. One last thing you may want to do, and this helps search engines, is put in what's called alternative text. It's stored along with the graphic on the web page, and spiders and other search bots find it. So let's call this Comedy Tragedy Masks. And then say OK. Boom. It's in there. It's on the website. Um, it's in this little window. This is the editor, of course, as you know. I can always cancel, and none of the changes I made will take effect. Or I can click Update. Let's click Update. And it takes me back to our main page. And if I scroll down, there's our comedy tragedy masks. That's how it works.